This is module five, lesson 15 homework, side one. Today's objective was to place any fraction on a number line with endpoints zero and one. Number one, estimate to label the given fraction on the number line. <coughs> Be sure to label the fraction at zero and one. Write the fraction above the number line. Draw a number bond to match your number line. The first one is done for you. So I can see on letter A that I was supposed to label one third. So the number line has been partitioned into three equal parts. Zero was labeled as zero thirds. One was labeled at three thirds. One third was labeled, and then the number line was completed to equal one whole. Letter B, I have three sixths. So I want to partition my number line into six equal parts. To start, I'm going to use the thirds from letter A, and then I'm going to break my thirds in half to have six. <coughs> my zero fraction should be labeled as zero sixths. And my one fraction should be labeled as six sixths to equal one whole. Then I want to label three sixths. So I count over one sixth, two sixths, three sixths. There is my three sixths. Making my number bond, I'm trying to make one whole. The part that I have so far is three sixths. If I continue to count, I would count one sixth, two sixths, three sixths more to equal one whole. So my number bond will be broken apart into three sixths and three sixths. Letter C, I need to label two fifths. Fifths is my denominator, so I need to make five equal parts. I'm going to carefully draw four lines to break it into five equal parts. My first fraction will be zero fifths above the zero and then to make one whole I would have five fifths. Next I need to label two fifths so counting over I have one fifth two-fifths. Above the second dash, I will label two-fifths. Last, I need to make my number bond, which is going to equal one whole. So far, I have counted over two-fifths. If I can continue counting to one, I will have one-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths. So the second part of my number bond will be three fifths. Continue the same process for letters D and E, making sure you label the fractions at 0 and 1, you label the fraction on the number line, and you finish the number bond. 